this is a good point for us to segue into um, a situation where maybe you've taken your 12 weeks leave, the 12 weeks is coming up, but you aren't ready to return to work and you may need additional time. And what happens at that point? Um, there are other statutes called the Americans with Disabilities Act, which is a federal statute that protects people with disabilities uh, from discrimination. And then there's also a New Jersey statute, uh, the New Jersey Law Against Discrimination, which is the New Jersey state law that protects people with dis disabilities from discrimination. These statutes are different for, from the FMLA because they don't mandate a period of, of leave um, or job protection. But what these statutes do is they protect an employee with, with a disability um, and they require the employer to provide um, reasonable accommodations. It's often referred to as the interactive process and engaging with an employee to try to reasonably accommodate um, their disabilities in order for them to be able to continue to perform their job. So in some instances, if you need an extension of your leave and you qualify under the, the statutes protecting people with disabilities, which it's a little bit different of a definition, um, but in this circumstance, um, disability is a physical, mental impairment. It's pretty liberal under the New Jersey law. Um, a lot of times, requesting an extension of your leave would be considered a reasonable accommodation, and it would be, and your employer would, would be able to grant you that um, and to be able to extend your leave. So you, there may be instances where you can get in excess of the twelve of the twelve week period. So there's a couple differences between the um, the federal statute and the New Jersey statute protecting against disability discrimination, the New Jersey statute's a little bit more liberal. Um, it doesn't have an, an employee requirement, whereas the ADA requires you to have 15 or more employees to be protected. The New Jersey statute is any employer that employs one person, you're going to avail yourselves of the protections of that law. So everyone's going to be able to request a reasonable accommodation under the New Jersey law. And it's important to point out that an accommodation under these disability statutes, um, that can be one, one thing an employee is entitled to. Um, and it could be a, a leave is one form of, a, of accommodation. However, it could be other things too. It could be completely separately aside from needing a leave. Um, it may be that you require to go into work an hour earlier instead of later for whatever reason, if it's your treatment, um, if it's just, you know, because somehow related to your condition. So there's instances where you may not need the leave, but you may need an accommodation with respect to your disability aside from that, and you can request that under these disability statutes. Sure. Yeah, um, I have, like, do you have to request it under <coughs> the, the, this law for it to be, like, to be accommodated, or? You, because I'll just give you an example. I went I went back to work full time, um, and I had a, I had a speech therapy, mm -hmm. um, and it was at, it was after school. I, I'm a teacher. I was after school, but per my contract set since September first, they started scheduling meetings every Wednesday of professional development, and I, I asked my supervisor, my principal, he said you can go, but the the sup my superintendent said no, I mm -hmm. cannot. Um, and so I, I, that's my question, like, do, would you have then said, well, they just said we schedule with a different therapist, uh, uh, you know, how therapists have certain schedules, we schedule the time. I mean, you, what, there was just not, it was not a possibility. Right. And then going to the same therapist for six months, it just didn't make, um, it was, it, it was just an undue burden mm -hmm. for me to have to start with somebody, somebody new. So that's what I'm saying, how would you have approached that? Yes, that it's definitely, a, it sounds like a situation where um, you could have followed up with them and explained to them um, that you're requesting that um, accommodation to be able to see your physical therapist at the time you needed to uh, under the um, New Jersey Law Against Discrimination and the Americans with Disabilities Act. Um, it's, that would be your follow-up, whether or not you felt comfortable doing it um, in a conversation 
um, but you certainly can raise that as. I mean, because I just, I just to be honest, I just to let you know, I just went to some of them, with, uh, you know, um, I guess with, without being allowed. I just did it. Mm -hmm. I had to go. Um, I tried to work out my schedule. So, I mean, I think that I can start completely up on, you know, whatever. I'm not, I'm in, not charges, like, um, I'm in uh, non compliant to my job because I'm supposed to be at these meetings. But, right, you know, and so I would just, I'm just wondering if they ever come at my evaluation at the end of the year to just say that, you know, I was just. Yes, yeah. That's what I mean. I want to say, like, I can say, like, this you, is the such, you can say that I, I'm a. Yes, you can use the, that language, um, and it's okay to you know do things like that in, in writing to say that you are requesting. If if so, a situation like that arose again, you could specifically say if you didn't weren't able to get it on the first attempt, um, you could follow up with them and just cite to um, these statutes and just to let them know that I'm requesting this um, under you know under these acts and I'm requesting it as a reasonable accommodation for my disability, and you would just give a little bit of an explanation. Um, and you're certainly, I mean, that's what that statute is designed for. And for an employer, their test is that if it's not going to put an unduly burdensome, um, if it's not going to be unduly burdensome to them, then they have an obligation to reasonably accommodate people with disabilities. So that's kind of the standard, and it's a fact-sensitive analysis, but clearly in this, you, the facts that you're giving here, it wouldn't have been an unduly burdensome. No, I mean, I don't in this. Do, you know, I have to, you know, make it up somehow else. You know, I, I made, right. had a, you know, in a different way to do it. Yeah, and that's going to be a hard burden. It, it's, a, it's a strong burden for an employer to me, and they have to have a good, valid reason to do that, to reach that standard. So that's, ex that's a perfect example of where you would specifically request the accommodation um, under those types of acts. That's, that's a great example.